Thanks for stopping by to see what I'm up to today. So on my last video for Node Red, I promised everyone that I would show them how to get remote access, at least those of you who don't already know, get remote access for Node Red. So I found this video. Hello, my name is Thorsten. I'm the developer of Remote Red. Today I will show you how to get your Node Red dashboard on your smartphone. I found this video on YouTube, on the internet, and this is a gentleman who developed Remote Red. So it's titled Remote Red for Node Red Tutorial 1, Remote Access, and he's got other tutorials over there. So head on over there because he can tell you way better than I can. The channel name on YouTube is Remote Red. So I can only give you the short version of it. That tutorial is going to tell you to head on over to your version of no Node-RED. So I have my Node-RED running on the high felt by Sierra Radio Systems, George from Pactena, and I've got my personalized Node-RED sitting here. And then he's going to tell you, hopefully you're familiar with Node-RED, to go on over to Manage Palette, go to the, some people call it the hamburger menu, and go to Manage Palette. You'll see User Settings, Nodes, Install, Go to install and in the search modules, type in remote and you're going to see a module called Node Red Contrib Remote. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, you see these that say install, they, they highlight for you to install. Mine is already installed. I'm not going to install it again, but right here, click install. It's going to go through its version of the spinning wheel. Then you close it out. Over here in your node palettes, you can go all the way down. You can go down to remote and you're going to see remote access, remote notification, remote question. Now I have a good feeling. I haven't looked at all three tutorials, but these are tutorial one, two, and three, or tutorial one, two, and three. And you pull out that node or you can go up here to filter nodes and type in remote and there it be. Highlight this node, left click on it, drag it down to your flow. Double click on it, node red UI for config, a little pencil for editing. Now careful here, don't click too fast, but it's gonna ask you how you want to do it. And in one of these questions, it asks what region. Oh, so I've already chose chosen a region, but right down here, it it will ask you what region, server location, and I chose America. I chose America. I've already done it, so you won't see it as you see it doing it for the first time, but make sure you choose server location America because the region can't be changed after registering an app. Click on connect remote at red, red app. And down below in the same open window, you're going to get a QR code. Here's where you pull out your mobile device with the app. The app is going to ask you to take a picture of this QR code, and then you're going to be rolling. Everybody knows how to add an app. I'm not going to bore you with that. Once you have Remote Red opened on your Android device, your iPhone, or your iPad, or your whatever you have, add Node Red, and you're going to get this square, which you place over that QR code on your computer and it'll open all up, I promise you, and yours will look like this here. Now, and this is a virtual copy. Get, of course, orientation is different for the phone, but this is a virtual copy of what you have on your computer. And you can operate it, you probably can't hear this, but again, I'm gonna use the ozone generator as because I don't want to mess with my other devices. I click it. Maybe you heard it go on in the background. I'm going to turn it off because I ain't supposed to breathe that stuff. I only run that thing when I ain't here. And there you go. Remote red, node red on your mobile device, your Android, iPhone, tablet, or iPad. Always make sure once you've made a change like this to hit deploy and make sure you deploy the change you've made. I've already done this, so I'm getting rid of that node. But as you can see, I've already got it going right here and it says serving. Now, a couple things, it's been mis a couple things have been misspoken. And trust me, I'm no node red expert, not whatsoever. If it wasn't for Kyle and others on the web, I wouldn't even know that it existed. People have uh, said that you can't make this your own in that you can't change these headings. Not true. I'm pretty sure that this node did not come 
this flow, DLI and Sierra, a lot of people already know you can just add different flows to the dashboard the way the dashboard looks. Uh, this one did not call, come called DLI Web Power Switch. This was not Sierra Relays. This was not Sierra Digital Inputs. This was not called Sierra Coax Switch, and it wasn't this color. It's not true that you can't rename. This is, I don't think this was called Sierra Pi Monitor. That was not listed that way. I think that's something that I did to change it. And this, of course, this was not called Flex Rig. That's some of my nonsense. A lot of people know, for instance, this Flex Slice Frequencies does not show here. You have to go to another menu and pick it further down here. I decided that I wanted mine here. It made sense. This is my input for the flex. And you can see that it's working. The last video I did, it wasn't showing up. So, and I don't care if you see my IP address. That's the IP address that uh, my computer's on. That's the call sign in my flex. Again, I can go from idle and on with the Power Genius to standby, back to idle and on. Same thing with the Tune Genius. You might have even been able to hear that one click. But you can make these titles personal the way you want it, customizable. And the way to do that is to pick it, find it in the dashboard layout, find it wherever it is, hit edit, and change the name. Sometimes, like for instance, the uh, Sierra Coax switch, he's got it named Shack Coax switch number one. I wasn't fond of that one, so I named it Sierra Coax switch. You can find a way to change most things if you work at it. For instance, here. So it's still... It still shows over here in the menu as Shack Coax Switch number one, but I went and found out how it's labeled and I named it Sierra Coax Switch and I changed the color. Feel free to mess around with it. If you goof it up, you can always just uh, re image the Pi at the very worst, but sometimes it's just a matter of going back to the flow layout in the dashboard layout and changing it to the way you want it. Well, I want to thank you all for dropping by. As you can see, I've got work to do. See all that wire. I got a loop to put back up in the trees. Still playing with the new antenna and attempting to breathe life back into the DX Commander. It was in pretty bad shape a couple of days ago. Lifeless. Thanks for stopping by.